Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. Today we're doing a breakdown on Antonio Gandy Golden. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to be doing some film breakdown and an overview of Antonio Gandy Golden. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing Sadiq Charles next, by the way. So Antonio Gandy Golden is a wide receiver out of Liberty who last year had about 1,300 or 1,400 yards receiving 10 touchdowns and 17.7 yards per catch. He's about 6'4", 220, so he's a big receiver and fits our scheme perfectly because we already got uh, Terry McLaurin as our number one receiver, kind of the do-it-all guy, and then we got Steven Sims in the slot, so we need that other outside receiver, and Antonio Gandy-Golden is perfect for that. He's a deep threat, can make contested catches, very physical, still has some things he can improve on, and I'm going to show you guys that on the film and the stuff he does well, very athletic. The only problem with him is he is a little slow with that 40 hour dash time is 4.6. But I really think that he uh, plays a little bit faster that faster than that very strong 222 bench press reps. Uh, and then if you look at his stats again, I said it, but you guys can look at it here. Really good receiver. And he played at Liberty where the competition isn't great, but when he did play against good competition like UVA against Bryce Hall, he played very good. And also in the Senior Bowl, he played very good. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, him against uh, the top competition. And I think overall, this guy is going to be a steal for us, one of the steals of the draft. I think he can become a starter in this league. I think he might be able to be a starter right away and contribute maybe year one. I think... Year one will be a success for him if he gets over 450 yards, and I think he'll keep going. He's a great red zone threat, so he's kind of, him and Harmon are going to battle for that last starting wide receiver spot, in my opinion, but let's get started on the film. So these are some senior bowl highlights um, of Antonio Gandy-Golden, so um, we'll go ahead and watch some of this. So right here, this is a just one-on-one -on -one drill, uh, one -on -one drills against other cornerbacks who are at the Senior Bowl. So these guys aren't scrubs. They're good cornerbacks. So we're going to start off um, right here. You see he has good enough footwork to get separation. That's like a lot of people are saying, oh, he's uh, too slow. He won't get separation at the line of scrimmage. But you saw there, you're going to see it a couple more times. Look at that footwork. He gets enough separation. You're going to see it again. I'm going to show it again. He's lining up right there. He's lining up square with the cornerback. And he goes there. Look at that good footwork and gets there. And still doesn't have too much separation at the end. But if he was running a different route, he would have had that separation. And he was able to come down with the catch. So um, there you see that. If he was going more to the right, maybe on a slant, it would have been a perfect route. So... I think uh, very good. Uh, he's a decent route runner, and his footwork is better than advertised, in my opinion. So right here, this is going to show off his physicality. He's very big, and sometimes he uses it to his advantage, his upper body strength, and sometimes he doesn't. When he does use it, he's usually successful. So right here, you're going to see his physicality. Um, you see he pushes off that wide receiver and gets the ball right there. If he want to use that physicality, he wouldn't have gotten open because the cornerback was playing hard on him. And there you see that great route running. You're going to see this play a few times. He's not an elite route runner, but he can get the job done. And you see right here, the cornerback is just, he's lost right now. He's completely lost. And that's because Antonio Gandy-Golden can run decent routes. You see how much separation he just created. He's got about a couple yards of separate of more than a couple yards of separation here and the cornerback is looking around you're going to see that like five yards of separation there you're going to see that cuts in and the cornerback is just looking around so he's a decent route runner you see it one more time the cornerback just had no idea that is i think he's solid and i think that's going to be uh one of his strong suits he just needs to uh he just needs to get uh, some more reps in the NFL. Once he gets some reps in the NFL, I think he's going to get uh, better route running, especially with uh, Terry McLaurin and Steven Sims there, maybe to teach him a bit. But here's 
one of his strengths right here. He's great at making contested catches, and he's a really good red zone threat, which is what I love about him. We really haven't had one. Uh, Terry McCorn's all right in the red zone, but he's more of a guy that um, he gets the ball and he can do a lot after the catch. He's still a decent red zone threat and a great route runner, but Antonio Gandy golden can make those contested catches. So right here, we're going to see it um, really close to red zone right here. He goes, uses that one arm to a little push off right there, and he makes that contested uh, catch in the back of the end zone. And if you look at his highlights, I'll leave a couple in the uh, description below. Uh, he has so many contested catches in the end zone. So, yeah, I, I absolutely love this kid. Um, I think he just needs to work a little more on the physicality and being consistent with it. Here's another one. He always, if you look at his highlights, he always used that kind of left or he used that right arm slightly to push off and have, like, you see it right here. If you see this arm right here, He's he always does this. If you watch his highlights, he always does this before. Um, he kind of uses it to push off. You see there, and I really like that. I'm not gonna get that doesn't get called in the NFL for pass interference. So um, you see some more senior bowl highlights here, getting some contested catches in the reds or not in the red zone, but in the end zone. Uh, he's definitely faster than advertised, in my opinion. You see another one. This is the same one right here, but. Uh, we're gonna now we're gonna show some things that he needs to work on right here. Um, he has it's not much, but this is another high. So you see that hand again. He uses that hand to create separation at the end. Um, okay, it's it's right here. You see there. He uses that physicality again to create separation, which is great because he doesn't have much separation. Uses that and gets that. Um, couple yards and that would have been a first down so that's what I really like about him but there's also some things he sometimes he needs to be more physical and I'm going to show you guys that right here um right here the linebacker is right on him and uh, I think that's a linebacker and Gandy Golan is a strong wide receiver and you saw he does use that physicality a lot of the times but sometimes at that line of scrimmage in the middle of the field he doesn't always use it and I think that uh, if he's more consistent with that, he's going to create constant separation. So let's look at it right here. You see he gets tangled up, doesn't really use his upper body strength to get separation and allows the linebacker or cornerback to swat the ball away. So you're going to see it from right here. You see that he lets the guy, he lets the defender get his hands on him before uh, Antonio Gandy Golden gets his hands on him and uh, thus letting the guy just come in and swat the ball away. You see really created zero separation there. So that's one thing. One of his strengths is his upper body strength and he does use that to his advantage a lot of the times. But against this bigger guy, he really didn't and uh, he lost the battle there and he didn't really come to the ball either. And then this is going to be one of the last highlights I show you. But if you watch his highlights, man, he constantly, constantly, constantly um, gets contested acrobatic catches. He has like so many one-handed catches he made. And right here, this isn't a one-handed catch, but it's a very nice catch that he makes in the co left corner of the end zone. Uh, it's a hard catch to make too, but I absolutely love this. Look at that. Look at that. Literally right in the corner of the end zone, almost no space. I'm going to show you real quick this one right here. Creates separation with this footwork. You'll see that real quick. Sliding the cornerbacks right there. And look at that. Boom, boom. Gets two feet in. So that is, um, those were his strengths and weaknesses. We're going to go back to his draft profile. Overall, I think Antonio Gandy Golden is going to be a solid a receiver in this league if he can just be a starter and maybe 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 if he develops into a good player pro bowler we definitely won this uh we got a steal in antonio gandy golden and i think he can become that um i'm hoping maybe he gets around 400 to 500 yards this year as a rookie and he's gonna have the benefit of playing across terry mclaurin so the attention is mostly going to be on terry mclaurin 
and maybe Steven Sims. So him and Antonio Gibson are going to benefit from that. Uh, sorry, and I think he's really going to have a good rookie year. And he's going to be a receiver that I think has a lot in the red zone. And as you saw on his stats, he had 10 touchdowns uh, three years in a row. So he's a great red zone threat. And I think obviously he's not going to have as great numbers as he did at Liberty in the NFL. But I think he's going to be able to still not necessarily get, because if you watch his highlights, a lot of them are 70-yard um, catches where he beats the receiver uh, just on a fly route. I don't think that's necessarily going to happen here that much just because the cornerbacks are a lot more athletic. But I do think with his physicality, if he keeps keeps that up and stays consistent with using his upper body strength and his footwork to create separation, I think he's going to be able to get a lot of red zone a lot of red zone touchdowns and give Haskins a great target in the red zone. And I think he can become a good receiver in this league. We'll re I really cannot wait for the season to start. I can't wait to see how Scott Turner uses Antonio Gandy-Golden and Antonio Gibson. It will be fun. Again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to leave my Redskins draft grade article that I wrote in the description. So let me know. Uh... Let me know what you guys think about that. And I'm going to be doing Sadiq Charles breakdown next. So also give me some other players to break down. I really enjoy this. I'm probably going to do uh, Antonio Gibson, Sadiq Charles, and possibly a couple others. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash like button, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Probably going to be streaming on Thursday. Peace.